move on to what I wanted to talk about next, which is two great jobs that I think you guys should be looking into in order for you to earn more money in the tech space, earn more money into tech in general, okay? I want for you guys who are making a career transition, don't know where you want to go yet, or for you who are in high school or college to think about if you're interested into technical careers and you like, you know, being on a technical side or so forth, to do some research on the role of a data analyst and a cloud engineer. These are two roles that are in high need, in high demand, and you can make a shitload of money. Okay, let's talk about data analysts first. You probably want to know what does a data analyst do? Well, if you think about it at its highest level, a data analyst basically collects and processes statistical analysis on large data sets. So they discover how data can be used to answer questions and to solve problems at its highest level. You have a whole bunch of data that's inside all sorts of companies and they discover how this data could be used to answer questions. Let's give an example. I used the example last week of a patron or a gentleman that works in the school system and he is an assistant dean and in this high school you have fights going on and so forth well if you have a tracking mechanism that has the students information ethnicity race religion all this other stuff you can use statistical analysis to get a better understanding of the profile of people that are having these problems that's what data analysts do. They discover how data can be used to answer questions and solve problems. Okay? Um, and if you like to be somebody who's factual, somebody who likes to uncover trends, somebody who likes to give business insights, tell stories, you should look into a career of a data analyst. You should look into a career of a data analyst. And some of the qualifications that you will need to become a data analyst are things like programming languages, R, right? That's a, a language that you would need to learn and you have to be pretty proficient in that language, okay? You have to be a person who is creative and um, analytical in thinking, somebody who has strong and an effective communication skills, somebody who can visualize data to tell a story and so forth and their data warehousing skills and so forth. Somebody who knows SQL and somebody who I would say is advanced in Microsoft Excel. In my Patreon, my professional members have access to Google Data Analytics professional certifications. And one of the class or one of their professional certificates is that of data analysts. And within this certificate, you can learn all of this so that you can become a data analyst in the future. Okay? So that you can become a data analyst in the future. So consider becoming part of the Patreon if you want access to a community that will be there to support you in your transition into data analytics. Consider if you want coaching from a career coach who's have, who has 17 plus years of technology experience in a technology space that can help guide you and to encourage you and to motivate you can, to continue going. Consider if you want access to a network that can help you out throughout the challenges that you may face within your tech career. Join a Patreon. Join a Patreon. So that's of the career of a data analyst, guys. Well, I missed one thing because here's the piece of it that many of you guys want to know. What's the outlook like for the data analyst role in that of the overall salaries? What's the outlook like for the role of a data analyst and that of and what are their salaries? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. For marketing research analysts, 
which are data analysts, but working in marketing research. The career outlook is this, 22% growth, okay? They are in need because people need to understand what products and services can be made based on the data that they have. What is it that people want based on the data that they have? Okay, those are data analysts. And let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. One sec. I'm talking about Siri. Once she wants to talk to me right now. One second. Let me throw my iPad out of, out of the way. I'm talking so much, and my iPad is picking up and wanting to answer questions for me. But the salaries for a data analyst range anywhere from eighty-three thousand as a entry level all the way up to if you are a senior 150 plus and if you decide you want to grow within this space outside of data analytics and become that of a data scientist you're making two hundred thousand dollars plus think about our brother who comes on this channel and visits us frequently engineering cannabis engineering cannabis ai and me and so forth you can make a fantastic career out of that of a data analyst. And if you want to pivot after you've done it for some time and climb the ladder to get to higher positions where you earn more money, that's a good place to start to have a very good technical foundation. So that is the role of a data analyst, guys. The next one I want to talk about is that of cloud computing, a cloud engineer. And you're like, okay, well, Antoine, what does what is cloud computing? Well, if you think about cloud computing, cloud computing is storage of you know the databases any sort of software any sort of analytics that's accessible all over the internet so if you store and it's accessible all over the internet it has to be in place where you have access just about anywhere and that is in the cloud and that is in the cloud so market research has shown that cloud is expected to grow anywhere in the U.S. from $175 billion to over $200 billion in the next, you know, two to three years. It's a growing industry because most people, most businesses still have to make that migration into the cloud. That's why it's so important. And you think about it, the advanced countries like, you know, United States and some of the others that exist out there, they're making that transition now, but think about the countries that aren't there yet. There's going to be a boom, even bigger boom in the cloud computing space. That's why companies like Amazon, Oracle, AWS, Microsoft are crushing it. And they're consistently growing year over year. And I want you guys to think about the career paths of that of a cloud engineer. And uh, before I even get to the career path, let me explain what a cloud engineer is. So a cloud engineer is somebody who's responsible for, think about this, all of the technical aspects of cloud computing. So if cloud computing exists in, you know, data warehouse or whatever it is, with a whole bunch of storage and all this other stuff, a cloud engineer is responsible for all the technical aspects of making sure that works. So the planning the designing, the maintenance, and the support of that. And a cloud computing engineer can take many different career paths. They can be a cloud developer. They can be a front-end, back-end developer. Many of you are interested into front-end and back-end development and web development and so forth. You can make the transition into cloud computing. You can be a software architect, a cloud architect, a data engineer. If you are a data engineer and you're like, okay, well, I want to make a transition you can think about that of a cloud engineer. You can make those transitions. You can be in security. You can make a transition in the cloud as well, too. That's the thing about these tech spaces is that the career paths are never black and white. You can transition based on you learning new things, commitment to learning, continuously learning. You can get to a cloud engineer from, as I mentioned, a front-end, back-end developer, full-stack developer, security engineer, data engineer, cloud architect. 
DevOps. All you need to do is learn the skills and commit to a platform, right? So what are the major roles in cloud? I would say that is of a solutions architect and a solutions architect are responsible for analyzing the technical environment and requirements and its specifications for the companies that are making that transition into the cloud. So these guys are responsible for selecting the the technologies that's gonna be used to meet the needs of the overall business. So they estimate what the cost is gonna be, they manage the usage, the operational cost of each one of the solutions that's in the cloud, they project manage and all of that. And these guys make a shit load of money, okay? So solutions architect is a fantastic role to be in a cloud. And I'm going to give you some steps that you should consider if you are going down this path to become a cloud engineer. The first one would be to become very good in a cloud platform. So whether that is AWS, that's Microsoft Azure, that's Google Cloud or some sort of Oracle platform, just gain proficiency in that platform. Okay? You have to commit to one of the platforms. Again, guys, it's about commitment. Okay? And you have to go through the foundations of that platform. And then once you understand the foundations, which gives you an understanding of the basics, you can move on to like the associate and the professional. And you can Google or research how these platforms will allow for you to gain your learning experience and so forth. I'll let you guys jump on the websites, whether it's AWS or Microsoft and so forth, to give you a better understanding of the steps that you need to take in order for you to advance from the foundation, which is the basics, to the associates, to the professional, and so forth. Okay? The next one you want to have experience in is have experience in at least one programming language, whether it's C, C++, Java, Python, or so forth. Just have experience in one of those programming languages because whether you're going to be doing programming or not, you still have to have a good understanding of it because a lot of the applications that are going to be used in the cloud are written in one of these programming, these programs. And apart from gaining knowledge into programs and the actual platform itself, you want to specialize, guys. You want to specialize in one of the concepts that exist out there for cloud, whether it's storage and networking or virtualization and operating systems, something that our Mr. Nix is doing today in VMware and so forth. It could be in security and disaster recovery. Security and disaster recovery. It could be in web services and DevOps. But you need to specialize in one of those areas. Become the expert in it. Okay? If you do that, that's a good path for you to get into cloud computing and to become a cloud engineer. And if you become a cloud engineer in the United States, I'm going to tell you like this. The average salary for a role like that is... $116,000 $116,000 at a minimum. $116,000 at a minimum. You're probably like, God damn. I say the same thing. You become a cloud engineer, you're making a minimum of $116,000. It is a good career, high salaries, and a career that is in high demand right now. They are hiring people, and you can pretty much name your salary. That's one even though we're going through this entire, you know, rounds of layoffs and so forth, you can almost guarantee if you have the skills and you are a cloud engineer that you're going to have a job and you're going to have a good salary. So guys, just consider that. Consider that in your journey into tech. Cloud engineer, great role, data analyst, data analytics, Great role as well. So I wanted to make sure I hit on those. I make I wanted to make sure I hit on those because those are important. 
I mean, last week I did that of the project manager, right? I did that of a project manager and that of a, an account manager. Fantastic roles. Fantastic roles. My thought in including these segments into the show is to make sure I provide you guys the exposure and the knowledge of what exists out there. And that's why I've been including these segments into the early part of the show. What are some of the career paths that are out there? If you want to know a little bit more about project management and account management and so forth, go and watch last week's video. But now this week, we're talking about cloud engineering and data analytics. Fantastic technical spaces that you should look into if you're looking to make a career transition into tech. Now, the difference between these two rows, cloud engineering and data analytics, I would say this, you can make the transition at any level. However, it's best to go when you're really junior and entry level because it's more on the technical side. Whereas on the product or project management and account management, if you're up there in age and already have a established career and making more money, you're gonna make more money into these roles because they're more in the management level when you come in and you can transition a little bit easier because they aren't as technical. They aren't as technical. These are technical roles. These are the non-technical roles, okay? I just wanted to make sure that I provide you guys that information. 